Yo, what's going on, you guys? Before we start the video, I just want to let you guys know I'm doing a 1,000 V-Bucks giveaway here on the channel, and I'll be giving away 1,000 V-Bucks for every 500 subscribers we gain here on the channel. We've been growing pretty quickly, so I figured I'd try to give back a little bit here to the awesome viewers and subscribers like yourself here on the channel, and in the future, we're definitely going to be giving away more V-Bucks skins and more, and all you guys got to do to enter is subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on by hitting that bell icon next to the subscribe button, and also follow me on Twitter with notifications turned on there as well, and then down in the comments below, type 1,000 V-Bucks and you'll be entered for the giveaway. It's as simple as that. That. Good luck and have fun. Yo, what's going on, you guys? I'm Flipards, and we're back here on Fortnite taking a look at the upcoming Battle Pass challenges, the final set of Battle Pass challenges here for week number 10 that are going to be available for you guys this coming Thursday, April 26th of 2018. Now, of course, with that said, these are the final set of Battle Pass challenges, and with that, this is going to be your final chance to rack up those extra points, those extra score, those extra tiers, so that you guys can level up your Battle Pass to tier 100 and get yourself that John Wick if you don't have it already again this is this last set so make sure you guys go ahead and complete them all as much as you can play as much as you can because once this season is over you're not going to be able to get that john wick skin so make sure you guys are grinding out getting these ones done and get yourself that john wick skin again if you haven't already so with that said we're going to be looking at these challenges here a lot of them are pretty easy to do some of them are kind of similar to ones we've seen before and of course we're going to be looking for chests we're going to be eliminating opponents and then we're going to be doing searching in between a certain something here and there so with that said let's go and take a look at what these challenges have in store for the final week here week number 10 coming in for our first challenge here of week number 10 this one is going to be worth five points and all you got to do is search for chests in fatal fields and you got to look for seven of these chests now this one is going to be pretty easy to do of course with that said as well it's also going to be a very busy place for a couple of days here because a lot of people are going to be going to fatal fields to get this one done as soon as possible so that they can check it off the list and move on to the next challenge but again you don't have to complete this all in one match so if you guys do end up in fatal fields don't worry that you only got one or two chests just go and play another round you're gonna be able to complete this in a couple of games now coming into our second challenge here guys this one is gonna be worth five points it's gonna be very easy to do all you got to do is deal headshot damage to your opponents now this one is pretty easy to do because you have to deal 250 points worth of headshot damage to your opponents and it's easy because for the most part when you guys are in your gunfights you don't really have to think about always trying to hit the head you guys are gonna be hitting the head regardless here and there in whatever gunfight and this is going to be one of those challenges you guys can just keep in the back of your mind because once you guys start engaging in your gunfights you probably won't even realize it maybe even in one gunfight maybe even in a team battle in squads next thing you know you've already done 250 points worth of headshot damage to an opponent in one match so don't worry about this one just play your games as you normally would this one will be completed on its own now coming in for the third challenge here this is going to be worth five points as well and what you got to do is search a chest a single chest in a different named location so basically you're going to be be going all over the map here guys and searching for at least one chest in an area and of course make sure when you guys are moving from one place to another because of the circle you guys are looking in those houses in those little sheds because there could be a possible chest that someone left behind someone didn't hear it and you're going to be able to go and complete more than one chest in a different name location in one match instead of needing to play several different kind of matches just to get this one completed so again search a single chest in a different name location go to tilted go to pleasant park fatal fields all the kind of stuff and this one is going to be pretty easy to do it's going to be one of those things that you don't even really think about as well now coming into our fourth challenge here we've seen something like this before this one here is going to be worth five points and what you got to do is skydive through floating rings now if you guys didn't hear about this little leak that happened about a week or two ago people on pc were actually messing around on the replay function that was recently added into fortnite where you guys could see your battle replays of you playing solo or squads and see what kind of clips and stuff like that and make these little awesome animations and what not people were messing around when there and they suddenly saw that there were these floating rings in certain locations and it was very similar in location to the ones that we've seen in previous battle pass challenges before for the bullseye so for this one you guys are going to be able to see these rings that are floating up above just dive right through them and then you guys are going to be able to get this one done you need to go through 10 of these rings and at the moment we don't know if you can do multiple of them in one match because some people could just go all the way up do a big massive staircase and then have a jump pad at the end and then jump into another set of floating rings we don't know if it's going to work like that right now but i'm sure if it does work like that you guys are going to be able to get more than one of them done in a single game but for the most part you guys are probably going to have to go and play 10 different matches to get all of these 10 different rings 
Now coming in for our fifth challenge here guys, this one is going to be considered as a hard one. We've seen one like this before as well in previous other weeks. This one is going to be worth 10 points towards your battle pass and this one is to search between a stone circle, a wooden bridge, and a red RV. Now I am going to have a video on the channel here talking about this specific challenge to help you guys out where the stone circle is, where the wooden bridge is, and of course where the red RV is as well. And of course where the possible location is going to be or the exact location is going to be of where you guys got to go to complete this challenge and collect the star that's going to be waiting for you guys there just like all the other ones with the treasure map and the other search between something something so this one is going to be on the channel make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on so that when that video does go up you won't miss out as soon as that is uploaded and then you guys are going to know where that spot is right away so that when it comes to thursday to complete this when they actually get released on week 10 you guys are going to be able to just go drop right in that spot get it done right away and go on your way and complete other challenges now coming into our second last challenge here this is going to be challenge number six it's also going to be considered as hard this one is going to be worth 10 battle points as well towards your battle pass this one here is to eliminate opponents now you have to eliminate 10 of them and of course you don't have to do this all in one game you guys can do this throughout your week of course i know some people out there could probably get this done in one match as well of course that's completely up to you it's really dependent on your skill level and everything like that because this game is kind of difficult but here's a pro tip for you guys if you guys are having troubles trying to eliminate opponents if you guys are playing solo grab a friend play in duos or grab a squad and go into squads and help your friends out here by getting your friends to down the opponents and then you actually go and eliminate them it'll actually count and this actually works for a bunch of the other challenges like eliminating an opponent with a crossbow eliminating opponents with shotguns everything like that so if you guys want to get this one done and you guys are having trouble with actually getting eliminations get your friends to help you out let them get the downs and then you guys have to just come and clean it up with the elimination now for the last and final challenge here of week 10 this is going to be the seventh challenge here this one here is going to be worth 10 battle star points as well towards your battle pass this one here guys is to eliminate opponents in pleasant park you only have to eliminate three of them and this one you can do in tandem with eliminating opponents for the whole 10 of them so you can kind of do these ones at the same time again if you guys are struggling of getting these opponents down when I mean, you guys are playing solo feel free to go grab a friend and duo and friends and squad and go and get your friends to help you get those down so that you can go and finish this job do the cleanup crew and eliminate those opponents so with that said guys that's gonna be out all the challenges that we have here for the final week here of the battle pass challenges for week number 10 that's gonna be available for you guys this thursday april 26 of 2018 so make sure you guys go and get these done if you don't have your john wick skin done already make sure you guys get these ones done get your 50 points done get all 50 of them that's gonna be worth five tiers towards your battle pass and hopefully that will be enough to push you guys to getting your john wick skin if you guys haven't already and if it's not enough go complete the other challenges if you didn't complete them go and grind out the game get your wins up get a lot of xp and get your extra points on there and make sure you guys get it because once this season is over you will not be able to get that john wick skin anymore so with that said guys that is all the final battle pass challenges we're gonna have here for week 10 that's gonna be available for you guys this coming thursday april 26 of 2018 make sure you guys grind out get all of these done this here is gonna be worth five tiers towards your battle pass and hopefully that's gonna be enough to get you guys that john wick skin and if it's not make sure you guys are grinding out getting those wins getting a lot of xp getting those extra bonus battle stars towards your battle pass squad up with your friends if you have to to help you boost up and get yourself that john wick skin because once this season is over once season three is over guys you're not going to be able to buy this skin you're not going to be able to get the skin any way in shape or form unless they put it in the shop and if they do it's probably going to be worth a lot of money so make sure you guys go ahead get this one done before it's too late because again once the season's over it is going to be gone and of course make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on because i am going to be uploading more fortnite videos for you guys as well as i am going to be uploading fortnite videos related to challenges of week number 10 here one being the sky dive through floating rings and i think you guys are going to want to see that as well as search between a stone circle a wooden bridge and a red rv in that video i am going to show you guys the exact location of where you guys got to go to get that one completed for that metal to show up so you guys can get that one done and get your 10 points but as well as where that stone circle is where that wooden bridge is and where that red rv is so that for future purposes maybe even for season four if they have another challenge that even mentions one of these places you're going to know exactly where it is and then you're going to be able to go and follow up with those challenges and get those ones done so with that said guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed today's video remember to drop a like subscribe if you guys haven't already turn on post notifications here on the channel by hitting the bell icon down below and follow me on twitter to stay up to date on everything going on regarding my videos my channel my streams and myself catch you on the flip side arts out